Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about herbicide term. What is this drug herbicide term? The suffix sartan indicates this drug is an angiotensin 2 receptor blocker, commonly known as ARB. And since this drug inhibits renin angiotensin system by blocking the actions of angiotensin 2, this drug is particularly used in the treatment of hypertension. Either it can be used as monotherapy or in combination. And this drug can also reduce nephropathy developed in the type 2 diabetic patients. So in both of these conditions, Irbisartan can reduce the renin angiotensin system, thereby it can reduce the blood pressure as well as it can reduce the nephropathy developed in type 2 diabetic patients. So today in this video, we are going to discuss how this drug acts, what are the important precautions, side effects, doses, all these things we will discuss in this video. First of all, let us see the chemical nature of this drug. So this is the structure of Irbisartan. And here we can observe one of the ring system. This is nothing but the biphenyl ring system which is attached with a tetrazole. So biphenyl tetrazole is present in Irbisartan. Similarly, we can observe a spiro compound here. This is nothing but diazo spiro compound. So Irbisartan is a biphenyl tetrazole and diazo spiro derivative. Now let us see how this drug acts. On the vascular smooth muscle, angiotensin 2 receptor subtype 1 are present. So they are designated as AT1 receptors. We should not confuse that AT1 receptors are the receptors for angiotensin 1. These are the angiotensin 2 receptor subtype 1 designated as AT1. On these receptors, angiotensin 2 can act to produce vasoconstriction. Now these AT1 receptors are G protein coupled receptors and they are coupled with alpha beta gamma subunits. Now when angiotensin 2 binds to these receptors, they are activated and they can stimulate phospholipase C system. This phospholipase C is a cleavage enzyme which can convert the phosphatidyl inositol biphosphate into two components. One is the IP3 and second one is the DAG, diacylglycerol. Now IP3 can act on the sarcoplasmic reticulum which is expressed with IP3 receptors. By acting on these IP3 receptors, it can release the calcium from the sarcoplasmic reticulum so that the intracellular calcium levels are increased. Similarly, diacylglycerol can interact with the phospholipids and it can activate the protein kinase C system which is going to stimulate the opening of inward going calcium channels. Now calcium can more enter into the cell resulting in the increased intracellular calcium which finally results in contraction of vascular smooth muscle. In this way, angiotensin 2 produces vasoconstriction by acting on angiotensin 2 receptor subtype 1. Now, irbisartan is the angiotensin 2 receptor blocker. It can bind to these receptors such that it can inhibit the action of angiotensin 2. In this way, contraction is prevented, resulting in the vasodilatation. So, blood pressure is reduced, as well as renal damage can be prevented by reducing the activation of renin angiotensin system. Now let us the precautions of Irbisartan. As Irbisartan acts as antihypertensive agent, this drug can produce some hypotension in the patients. Particularly, this hypotension is more pronounced in few of the patients who are administered with high dose of diuretics such as Thysaid or loop diuretics, which increase the hypotension. Otherwise, in the patients who are having the salt depletion because of any physiological conditions or use of any other drugs, again it can produce some hypotension. So, in such patients who are having some volume depletion or low salt intake, this irbisartan should be carefully given as it produces severe hypotension in these patients. And this hypotension results in the orthostatic hypotension as well as it also increases the dizziness, so care should be taken in such patients. Similarly, irbisartan can increase the fetal toxicity, so it can produce some fetal damage which is particularly observed in the second and third trimester. So in the pregnant woman, this drug is contraindicated and this drug when it is given to the pregnant, it can reduce the amniotic fluid which increase the fetal damage and it can also produce fetal lung hypoplasia. So, fetal lung growth is going to be reduced. 
and even it can produce some skeletal deformations within the fetus. That's why this drug is contraindicated in the pregnant woman. Similarly, this drug can increase the acute renal failure. So, it can produce some low urine output resulting in the oligouria and it can also reduce the potassium excretion resulting in hyperkalemia. And this acute renal failure produced by irbisartan is more important in the patients with any severe congestive heart failure. In such patients, this renal failure is more pronounced resulting in hyperkalemia and other complications. So again, in such patients, this irbisartan should be carefully given. What are the side effects? The important side effects of irbisartan are mainly related with its hypotensive actions. So it can produce some dizziness, hyperkalemia, orthostatic hypotension, even orthostatic dizziness can be observed, some lightheadedness can be observed in the patients and it can produce some diarrhea, dyspepsia, fatigue. In few of the patients, we can observe some jaundice, thrombocytopenia, decreased platelet count and there may be increased levels of creatine phosphokinase levels which indicate some renal failure and elevation of liver enzymes can also be observed with this drug. Finally, irbisartan can also produce some tinnitus, some budging noise in the ears as well as angioedema, the swelling of lips, tongue can be observed with this irbisartan. How it is given? This drug is available as tablet for the treatment of hypertension. The initial dose of irbisartan is around 150 mg given as once daily. And based on the efficacy of the treatment, the dose can be increased up to 300 mg again given as once. But in the patients with diabetic nephropathy, irbisartan is given at a dose of 300 mg as one state. So that's about this drug irbisartan which is a angiotensin 2 receptor blocker. So it blocks the angiotensin 2 receptor subtype 1, 81 receptors. Thereby reduce the vasoconstriction resulting in a decrease in both systolic as well as diastolic blood pressure. It also reduced nephropathy developed in the type 2 diabetic patients. Orthostatic hypotension, dizziness are the important precautions that should be considered with this drug. And this drug can also increase the acute renal failure. And in the pregnant woman, it can produce some fetal damage. So it is contraindicated in the pregnant woman. This drug is started at 150 mg dose for the treatment of hypertension. But for the diabetic nephropathy, it can be given as 300 mg given once daily. So that's about this drug Irbisartan. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, share this video with your friends, post your comments in the comment box. Thank you for watching this video.